How to share photos with photography clients. Are you a photographer and you wanna share digital images with your clients, but you're not really sure the best way to do that? I'll tell you the best way to share digital images so both you and your clients walk away happy. And the third tip I'm gonna give you will help you make so much more money in your business. So do not skip out early because this one's a game changer. It's showtime. Hello, I'm Mike Lloyd. I run a multi six figure boudoir studio here in Silicon Valley, California, and I love photography. I love printed work, but I also have to know about sharing digital images because sometimes headshots, commercial clients, or my portrait clients, I'm delivering digital photos. I need a way to share those images with my clients in a way that's cost effective, that's easy, that's still professional, that makes the most sense for everybody. And I'm gonna help you figure out the best ways you can share your digital images. So the three things to consider and what I'm going to chat about is delivering images that have not yet been purchased, delivering images that have been purchased, and then presenting digital images to multiply your sales. All right, so giving images that have not yet been purchased. This might sound weird when I say it like that, but essentially it's a proof gallery. So if you want to send all your photos to a client to then pick out which ones they want to purchase, that's called a proof gallery. Like we used to give them really small photos, like actual printed photos that they could look through in the film days. Now we can just throw a big watermark that says proof or have our logo right over the middle of it so that, you know, they can't just go print these without the annoying watermark over the front. It's a way to safely present images to discourage people from stealing them. So delivering images that have not been purchased. I use Sprout Studio gallery function because that's one of the CRMs that I've used. Pixie Set is also another good one. There are a lot of photo hosting galleries out there. Sticky Albums is another one. Or you can just export all of your images and you can have a watermark put on them. Lightroom will allow you to do this in batches. You can do it in Photoshop with actions as well. So if you take a hundred photos from your shoot, or let's say you shot a thousand photos from a wedding, that's a lot of photos, you can put your watermark on them really easily as you export them and even just throw them into a Google Drive or a Dropbox folder if you wanna do that and your clients can download them and look through them that way. Some of the important features to look out for, again, the watermarking. You need a way to deliver the images so the clients can't just take all of these images and then never have to pay you for your work. So watermark, have them say proof. Even some galleries will prevent downloads so people can't right click and then save them, but they can still screenshot the image if they really want to, which is why I recommend putting the proof watermark over the middle of your photo. So again, a lot of programs like Pixie Set or Sprout Studios gallery function work really well for this, or you can just export it with that function in Lightroom and then share them however you want. Or another important factor to consider is how the client chooses their images. And again, Sprout is great for this. A lot of digital delivery platforms in our space will allow clients to go on, choose the images that they like, some way to mark or favorite those images in a way that you can then see. Or if everything has a file number, you know, an image client name one, client name two, client name three, then your client can just give you a list and say, I want images two, 137, and 160, and then those are the ones you edit. Whatever way it works best for you and your client is ideal. There's a ton of ways that you can do it. Just figure out the easiest way for your client to be able to pick their images that you want to then sell to them. Some programs will also allow you to present a gallery to your clients so that they can then choose the prints that they want. I don't recommend doing that, and I'm gonna talk to you about that in topic number three. But let's move on to images that your clients have already purchased. So let's say we've done our sales session, they've picked out all their images, their prints, everything, and now they've paid you and you can just give them the images. You don't have to worry about watermarking or proofing or download prevention, but you want it to look professional or really easy for your clients to get them. A few ways that I do it, I have engraved crystal USB drives. You can get any kind of fancy custom USB drives to give to your clients. And they have them in traditional USB, USB 3.0 for modern, faster computers. They all work great. 
No one uses CDs anymore. This is the new digital equivalent and they work really well. Plus you can brand them, have your own logo, your name on the USB drives, which is continued marketing for you. Because if you've ever received a USB drive, you don't just download the thing and then throw it away. You throw it in your bag and you use it for all kinds of other things. So you can stay top of mind with your clients. Powerful marketing tool. Also, it just feels fancier when you give them something tangible that looks cool. But if you don't wanna do that, that's cool too. Different galleries, again, like Sprout or Pixie Set are great ones. You can upload all the images there and they can just download the images from the gallery. Same thing with sticky albums. Another great feature they have is the ability to download the images either individually or as an entire gallery. Most of these platforms will have those two options. So your client can have an active gallery on their phone and make it easy to share the gallery with other people or share individual photos. Also, social sharing functions are great with sticky albums and some other platforms. So if somebody sees this gorgeous photo here in their phone album, they can post it right to Instagram or Facebook from the gallery. They don't have to save it first and then re-upload it. It will sync with their profiles and post automatically, which is really cool. Or you can throw all of these images into a Google Drive, into a Dropbox folder, and just send your clients the link for them to download. I find that's easy with my commercial clients. If somebody is doing a headshot session with me, or I've just shot 200 product photos for a company, I'm just gonna throw all of those full res images into a Google Drive and let them download it from there. They don't need a phone gallery app for their product photos and their headshots. So this is a great way to do digital delivery when they've already purchased those images. Okay, the last thing, this is what's gonna help you make so much more money. If you are delivering proof galleries to your clients who live locally to you and they are purchasing products from you, stop doing digital deliveries. When you sit down or do an actual in-person sales session where they can view their images, pick out their prints, and purchase everything right there, you're gonna make so much more money because photography is an emotional purchase. I mean, every purchase is an emotional purchase, but especially photography, and we can facilitate the sales environment so the clients will purchase more. It's not manipulation. We're not taking advantage of anybody. We're preventing life from stopping them from getting what they want. And what do I mean by that? When you get an online gallery to look through, and you're like, okay, I'm gonna pick out the pictures that I want up on my wall, and I'm gonna pick out prints that I want in my, or pick out images I want in my album. Your clients are gonna sit down, they're gonna look through the gallery with every intention of getting it done, and then the phone's gonna ring, or the doorbell, or one of their kids is gonna want a snack, or an emergency email is gonna come through and they're gonna get distracted. And then they'll try it four or five days later because, oh yeah, I totally forgot to order those pictures. Distractions will keep happening that will prevent them from ever making the decision. It could draw out your sales process, but the longer that you go from the point of taking the photos to presenting the photos to then making the sale, the less enthusiastic your client is going to be, the less they are going to purchase. And then they're gonna do all of this, spend all this time on it and think, you know, this wasn't even worth it. I only got a handful of photos out of here. When really, they would have felt so much more justified if they would have been able to sit down right away, do everything in one go, and then end up with all these gorgeous products and photos and a positive experience. Also, letting clients pick from an online gallery, maybe their monitor isn't set up very well. It's not calibrated. I'd be willing to bet that nobody besides photographers or videographers calibrates their monitor. So if the colors are bad, if it's too bright, if it's too dark, if there's reflections, Anything could degrade the quality of those images. And if it doesn't look good on that screen, your clients aren't gonna buy the photos. When in reality, they would look phenomenal as prints or on their phone or literally anywhere else. You are controlling the environment and presenting the images in the best possible way. Also, when you tell your clients, go ahead and pick out your favorites and then choose the, the albums that you want or the wall art, they're gonna be like, eh, I, I don't need a metal print. You know, regular prints are just fine, but maybe they've never seen metal prints before or they don't recognize the quality of the pages in the album and the leather binding, the metallic gilding, or the, the silk satin coating on the pages. All of these things that add to the experience that they're never gonna get from a product photo on your ordering page. Now, if you're doing family photos, and they wanna send a gallery out for the grandparents to be able to order things from different states or different countries, that's a different scenario. But you can still do the in-person sales with your client 
and then provide an option for out-of-town family to be able to add more onto that order. But as soon as you defer control to anybody else, you are lowering your sales, guaranteed. And if you've never done in-person sales before, it's really not that scary. I don't even actually sell anything because the common misconception with selling is that we're pushing things onto somebody who doesn't actually want them, that we're trying to take advantage of people and you know put one over on somebody. That's not what we do. I don't actually encourage anything in my, my sales process. I present the images, we narrow them down, I show them my products, they pick their favorite things, and then I help them pick the images to go in there. I never recommend things, I never encourage them to spend any money. I don't have to. My products are gorgeous. My photos are good. It's an easy process. Everyone buys everything anyway. And that's how it can be for you as well. So if you want to deliver digital images, that is amazing. There are great ways to show proofing galleries online. There are great ways that you can deliver them after they've already purchased. But I really recommend learning how to do in-person sales so your financial well-being is not dependent on how well somebody else can manage distractions in their life. So if you want to know more about sales, pricing, about products to sell, I have some phenomenal videos here on this channel. Or you can head to boudoirguild.com and I will walk you through step by step how I do everything in my business to live an incredible lifestyle doing something that fulfills me. You are amazing. I'll see you inside.